all right welcome back to another video today i'm going to be talking about the release date for red dead redemption 2 and dlss technology as in when it's getting it along with whether or not your gpu will work with dlss and rtx in general along with what dlss is so stay tuned this video is going to be a good one but first please do give this video a like if you find it at all helpful it means more than you think trust me and the easiest way to support me and what I do is just simply subscribing. It's free. So why don't you go ahead and do that? And without further ado, let's get into the video. So yeah, so that is right. If you're one of the few GeForce RTX gamers out there that happens to have an RTX graphics card, then you will be able to take advantage of this performance enhancing technology, also known as DLSS, on July 13th, uh, 2021. Which is actually, I think, only about um, five days away. And let me just get out there right now. Get subscribed because as soon as that does update does come out and the GeForce drivers update comes out, I will be doing some benchmarking with my computer. I do have a RTX 3070 in my computer, so be a good reference. But yes, July 13th on the Blood Money update for Red Dead Redemption 2, DLSS will be implemented. Now to answer your question, will my GPU work? Because I got a lot of questions in my previous video about this about two weeks ago of whether or not my GPU will work. So I'm gonna go over a list that I'm gonna put up, up on screen right now of all the GPUs that work. And I'm gonna read them off to you. We got the RTX 2060, RTX 2060 Super, RTX 2070, RTX 2070 Super, RTX 2080, RTX 2080 Super, RTX 2080 Ti, RTX 20th, or no, RTX 3060, RTX 3060 Ti, RTX 3070. Now this list doesn't have them because this list is kind of old, but the RTX 3070 Ti and RTX 3080 Ti will be supporting, obviously, all the RTX technology. And last but not least, the big and beefy RTX 3090. If you do not have one of those graphics cards, then no, you will not be able to take advantage of this technology. I'm sorry, because it is going to be pretty awesome, but I suggest you wait until the prices go back to normal before you even consider buying one. Now to end this video off, I'm going to talk a little bit about what NVIDIA DLSS actually is and what it does. Now bear with me, this does get a little bit complicated, but your GPU has these things in them called tensor cores. And that's pretty much an AI based core that NVIDIA has trained to upscale. And when you have DLSS enabled on your computer, as long as, long as you're playing a game that has DLSS, your computer will actually be rendering the game at a lower resolution. And then those AI tensor cores are going to be upscaling it to your native resolution, which means you'll get the FPS and performance as if you were playing at the lower resolution that it's rendering at, but your visuals will be looking at a crisp, uh, whatever you play at, 1080p, 1440p, or 4K uh, image, which is, is great because if you have a lower end computer and you're playing a game as graphics and graphic intensive as Red Dead Redemption 2, this will be great because if you have, say an RTX 2060, I remember my old computer actually had one of those and man, you had to have those settings right around medium to get about 60 or 60 70 fps now you'll be able to crank that all the way up to i'd say into the high high settings maybe a few ultra settings um depending on how well nvidia dlss actually works and then if you happen to be one of the lucky few people that have say an rtx 3090 well you'll be able to play like i don't know maximum settings at like probably like 100 fps which would just be crazy i don't think we've ever seen that before ever in red dead redemption 2 history unless you have some sort of super computer but yes that is all i have for you guys today i really hope you enjoyed if you did please give this video a like and subscribe to support me and what i do here and yes i'll see you in the next video peace